up. And we're headed to town. Um, we'll tell you about that in a minute, but we were going down the highway and noticed that a new gas station that was open has something going on outside because they're having their grand opening and they have a local radio station there, which I'm sure your guys' towns do the same thing. And they usually give away something free, so we just decided to make a real quick pit stop so we can kind of check it out and see what it is that they may have that they're giving away for free. So, this gas station has the best pizzas and stuff, so anything like that that they may be giving away is like, that's like a bonus. That's like a plus. So, we're just going to stop here real quick and Chef's going to check it out and see what they may have. They may not have anything but a drawing, but we'll see. So we'll be back in just a second. Anyway, Chef's going up there to check it out to see what they have going on. The radio station is high 99 and we don't listen to them a lot because they're country music and we're not big country music fans. We do like some. We like Reba and Dolly Parton and and Tim McGraw and a few like that, but anyway, they're the ones that's sponsoring it. So what I was going to tell you guys is um, this morning when I got up, I was um, talking with Robin at Bird's Nest and we were talking about lives and stuff because our subscriber count is almost at 700. So I made the comment about, you know, hopefully we'll be able to do a live, you know, by December at least. We need 300 more subscribers. And um, Robin was talking to me about Hotspot because, you know, you guys all know we don't have internet at our house. I didn't realize that we could get Hotspot off of our phone. Robin's like, you can. She goes, let me check it out for you. I know you can. And I'm like, no. I said, I don't want you to go through all that. And she's like, no, I like to do that stuff. Just let me do it. So I told her what kind of phone we had. And sure enough, she sends me back this instructions on how to do it. So, I was able to get the laptop onto the hotspot and I was able to sign in. After I got onto the Google page though, however, it brought up the Microsoft wanting, to, wanting me to verify my information. Well, it's been a few years since we've used the laptop, so I didn't have, I didn't have that information anymore. I couldn't remember what it was. So I had to call the guys that always work on our computers and our phones and stuff. And they're like, well, we're gonna have to reset your laptop just bring it in and I said well how much is it gonna be and they said well since it took so long for us to get your battery we'll just do it for free so they're gonna reset my laptop they're gonna install Windows 10 for me for free I'm like are you kidding me which we're not gonna let them do it for free we're gonna give them something for it but when we get it back thanks to Robin a bird's nest we're gonna be able to go live hopefully hopefully everything will work out that way so that's the way it seems and we're like super excited that's why we're like, well, we'll just take the laptop in today. So that's what we're gonna do and that's, we were on our way to do that. So anyway, when he gets done, it looks like he's filling out some entry things and when he gets done, then we'll bring you guys back. Okay guys, so we're back on the road and we got, as you can see in the right corner, we've got our supervisor up here on his little perch on the dash that he likes to ride on, but they gave Chef this Bolt, says Bolt 24 towel, um, but they're having a drawing for some other stuff. So he filled out the entry forms for that. Uh, just waiting on traffic to go by. So we can head to the computer shop and get this dropped off. I cannot believe people are wearing hoodies today. It's like 85 degrees. Very warm today. The next few days are going to be like this, if not hotter. It's this degeneration. Clear? Yep. I mean, I have long sleeves on too, but that's because I have thyroid issues. So even when other people are hot, I'm like either cold or comfortable. But. I told him about the, what Bird's Nest did and oh. being able to get on there. So we're taking the laptop so they can wipe it out. Hopefully save our pictures. Yeah, we've got some pictures on the laptop. We're gonna 
ask them to save for us. If they can. Oh, they can. They can save those. Because we don't want to lose those. But a lot of them is of our two dogs that passed away. So we want to definitely make sure that we save those. The rest of the stuff that's in that laptop, I don't need it. I don't care about it. I've got a um, flash. I've got a flash drive or thumb drive, whatever you call it, that I saved a lot of stuff on. <clears throat> One problem is I can't find it. I know it's in the house somewhere. A lot of it's just nursing work and stuff like that that I don't need anymore anyway. So. No, being Friday, it's going to be crazy traffic because it always is, especially in Terre Haute. It's like nutso traffic. We've been watching a couple of videos lately. Um, there was one guy that did a video on the Roseanne house that we're getting ready to go to. And he also did one on Larry Bird and where Larry Bird grew up and in his history and I'm not going to say the channel name, but man, he does not have his back straight at all. Chef was like, that's not right. That's not right. Because a lot of things that he was saying just wasn't, wasn't right. So. He didn't do very much research before he went there. No, he didn't do much research at all. And you couldn't leave him a comment because his comments turned off. So. Um. One of the things he was talking about is that Roseanne on uh, the Roseanne show that her family was Catholic and that they went to mass and stuff at the church there in Lanford and they were not Catholic and anybody that's ever watched Roseanne would would know the episode where they were talking to DJ about their religions and Dan was talking about how some of his family was Catholic but the, they're not Catholic. Connors themselves were not Catholic. So they didn't go to Mass. That church was in scenes of their show, but just when they were talking about Lamford in general, not because they were talking about Roseanne going to church. I don't ever remember an episode where Roseanne went to church, and we've watched every well, episode. There, were, there was episodes where she went to church, but it was where she was playing bingo, and she didn't just go to they went to a church to play bingo. Well, yeah, I'm talking about church to attend church. But that guy said that was his favorite show besides Married with Children when he was younger. And he loved it. He knew all the episodes. Well, if it was his favorite show and he knew all the episodes, he didn't know all the episodes. Because they were not Catholic. So. Anyway, we're going to take the laptop and drop it off. And I think we're going to go to Meyer. We're going to grab something to eat for... Uh, probably dinner because it's already after five and we haven't had anything to eat yet today. Well, I had some macaroni salad earlier. Chef didn't have anything. I finished off the bag of those Canadian chips. Oh, he finished off the, the all dressed chips. Like I said, they weren't bad. They weren't as flavorful as I thought they'd be, but overall they weren't bad. They grow on you. The more of you eat, the more of you want. Yeah, if you like vinegar, or if you don't like vinegar, you probably wouldn't like them because they do have a vinegary taste. But they've got a little sweet taste and a little barbecue-y flavor taste. So overall, they're not terrible. I was just expecting them to be a lot more flavorful. But like Chef said, the more you eat them, the more they grow on you. But I don't know what we're gonna get for dinner because the options in Terre Haute is a lot more than what we have where we're at. I think the only thing we have within 10 miles of us is Hardee's, McDonald's, Burger King, and Dairy Queen, right? Yeah. Unless you get a pizza and then you got Papa John's or Domino's. The Chinese. Yeah, there's a Chinese restaurant. But in our immediate town, there's nothing. There's a, there's a couple of gas stations that have pizzas, but as far as restaurants or anything, there isn't anything. And it's hard to get delivery where we live, too. Oh, in Mexican, there's Mexican down there. Yeah, there's Mexican in that town, but not our town. Yeah, in that town. And again, like I said, we can't even get delivery where we... There's only, like, two places that will deliver where we are, and we can't get Uber Eats or anything DoorDash. like that. Yeah, DoorDash, nothing like that. 
But anyway, when we get closer to the laptop shop, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, we're here at the laptop shop now. So, Chef just took it in so that it could be worked on. I don't know how long it's going to take exactly for them to dump everything out and load up the Windows 10 and stuff. Maybe about a week or so. It'd be great if for Memorial Weekend, since we don't have a lot going on, that we could do a live sometime during that weekend. That would be so much fun. Great fun. Don't forget we've got our contest going on. Um, it's going to end at midnight on the 20th. Or, yeah, it's going to end at midnight on the 26th. We'll do the drawing for that on the 27th. So we need you guys to email us pictures of your pets. Our email is in the description box. So you can also send it by mail if you'd like, but if you want to send it by email, you can. We'll take it and get it printed out. I think right now we have five entries. So anyway, so the chef's in there talking to the guy and I see a lot of hand motion, so I don't know what that means exactly. When it comes to the chef, you don't know. Sometimes when he talks with his hands, it's a good thing. Sometimes when he talks with his hands, it's not a good thing. But I already talked to him on the phone, so I don't know. <clears throat> when I get an update, though, we'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, we're back. We decided that we're going to go get some Taco Bell because they have a really good Taco Bell that's over here by Meyer. So that's where we're going to go. And Chef got the laptop dropped off. And... He was just flailing his arms, not in a bad way, but in a good way. He was just explaining to the guys that we appreciated how they offered to do all that work for free, considering our battery was really late coming in, but Chef was explaining to them that we don't expect them to do it for free. So we want to pay them something for their work, even though it was a very kind gesture of them because they're our go-to people. We use them all the time whenever we've had phone problems in the past. We've probably used them on and off for the last seven or eight years so they're familiar with us and but he didn't give chef an idea how long it would take so hopefully it won't take him but a few days to do that depends on how busy they are <clears throat> I didn't have the camera on when the Saudi Bobby vending trailer went by this is one of the chef's favorite vending trailers that's at any festival or anything. Yeah, they have the best little meat egg rolls. Yeah, they sell these little miniature egg rolls and Saudi Bobbies and this guy's been doing it for years and years and years and he just makes the best. Yeah, there's, there's not much vegetable thing in them. It's just almost all meat. They're just like, I don't know, what do you think, two and a half, three inches yeah, long? Yeah, they're about three inches long. Well, yeah, maybe two and a half, three inches long the egg rolls are. And like Chef said, they don't really have any vegetable in them. They're just all meat, but they have so much flavor. So whenever we see them, we try to hunt them down so we can go grab some. Yeah, the prices went way on up on them. They're probably even more now. But as a kid, you used to be able to get like three for a dollar and two for a dollar. And then it was like, I don't know. I don't remember what it was the last time we got some. Uh... The more you bought, the cheaper they got. That's the way they usually do it. I don't remember. Were they selling them by the sixes or eights, tens? I don't. Remember. I don't remember. Uh, they were they were over fifty cents a piece though. Ten for five dollars or something. I don't know. Maybe it was twelve for five. Like they were over. They usually though they're over fifty cents a piece, but they're really good. And they got really good uh, uh, saute too. But they're expensive. They're like two for four, two for five, and there's not a lot on them. But no, you don't get a lot of meat on those. Really good though. But we'll definitely be finding them again when they set up. So we've seen a few vending trailers and vending tra I mean, um, what do you call them? Uh, food trucks. Food trucks, yeah. We've seen a few food trucks in our area lately, which is not common. You don't see a lot of food trucks around here, but they're becoming more and more prominent now. I just don't know what to, do you know what you're gonna get at Taco Bell? I don't even know what sounds good. Oh yeah everything you know what i want but they don't have them anymore so what your steak and potato uh, oh the loaded nacho boxes they used to have oh yeah chef likes their nachos chips and cheese yeah, they used to have a, one on the cravers deal it was the whole box full of nachos with everything on them for 
five bucks. It's kind of like a Nacho Bel Grande on steroids. But they took, they got rid of that one. They don't have it anymore. So. Anyway, we'll be back with you guys when we decide what we're gonna get. Okay, guys, we got our food ordered and. What we were just talking about, they kind of had the same thing. They had a grande, what was it called? Grande nacho box. Yeah, a grande nacho box. It don't look as big as the other thing. Though. It was five dollars. You get a drink with it. So, chef got him a potato soft taco on the side, and I got a chipotle chicken melt. That's why I don't like bringing these things. We only have two cup holders, except for the ones in the back, and I always bring my bang, and it's open, so. I have to find a place to set it so I can put my drink. Oh, chef just swigged down his root beer, so I guess I can pour my. It was. Oh, it wasn't root beer. Dr. Pepper. Oh, that's not so bad. So I'll just pour my strawberry bang in his bottle. And then, of course, we got Pootie's water. Because he always likes to have his little water. And on a day like today, he needs it. Yeah, you can't tell it had Dr. Pepper in it. So that's good. Anyway, we'll bring you guys back when we get our food. That's best luck I can give you guys without having to turn the camera around. Yeah, it's pretty big. But it's pretty loaded. It's got a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, it's got uh, jalapeno peppers and cheese, uh, shredded cheese and melted cheese and tomatoes and ground beef. The only thing that's missing that I like is onions. I like onions, but I don't think Taco Bell even has onions. We're not real camera worthy or we would have turned the camera around. But we're sitting here in front of this affordable dentures place because they're closed for a week. And we're in the shade. <laughs> this is the only place we could go and find some shade. Not a lot of shade around here. Oh. It's really, we got the AC going though. A lot of businesses around here though. This yeah. The last time we, we took you in town, we were on the south end of Terre Haute. Now we're over on the east side. There's uh, two different small hotels, McDonald's, and Burger King, Taco Bell, and Arby's, and Sonic, a Verizon store, a Walmart, a Myers, a Culver's, an Aldi's. Car wash. A car wash, a Dollar Tree, a Mexican sit-down restaurant. Maurice's. Maurice's. Dollar Tree. Ain't there a pizza place over there too? Um, Monocles. Monocles Pizza, yeah. Like three or four gas stations, a subway. Lots of stuff over here and they're getting ready to build a casino. Yeah. It's supposed to be, to be to my right side. I'll show you when we leave. Yeah, they'll be building a casino. They're getting ready to... Our, well, they're working on building a new veterans clinic right now. Yeah, it's behind one. The casino's supposed to go out here to the front the side of the Hard Rock Cafe. Yeah. The same one that Deb from, is it Deb's Place? That channel we're subscribed to, I think it's Deb's Place. So. Her and her husband took a, they had a little sabbatical and went to the Hard Rock Cafe to do a little gambling, so. I told her we'll be getting one too. We would already have it, but there's been two or three different things filed for people trying to stop it. You know how that goes. Yeah. And then a couple of the people got in some sort of legal trouble or something. But Pood's sitting in the middle of us and he's got his little collapsible bowl. And we got him some... We don't give him much people food. Unless it's chicken, something that's good for him. But we got his little moist and meaty stuff right here. And that's what he's eating right now. And he's got his cold water. Here, you want mommy to give me some more? He ain't gonna look up long enough for me to refill the bowl. <laughs> well, but as far as deals go, for five bucks, it's not a bad deal. Here, Poob. You get her box, and then you get a large drink for five bucks. At least that's what it is here some in more. our area. So, I would recommend that's pretty much worth it. It's worth it more than some of the things you can get for five dollars anymore. Yeah, I look for fast food to be going up too, since everything else is. For sure. Guys, want a bite? They brought back one of my favorites they got rid of for a little bit. A potato soft taco. 
I know it sounds weird, but it's really good. They put it on a soft shell with lettuce and cheese and onion, or lettuce and cheese and uh, chipotle sauce, and the potatoes they sell in their breakfast foods. We make those at home a lot because you can buy the Taco Bell chipotle sauce at Walmart. Um, we make them at home. We usually add a little bit of chicken to them. Yeah. Pretty good. We're going to finish our food, guys, and then we're going to go over to Myers. If I can record anything in Myers, I will bring you guys back. Happy, Happy Friend, Friend Mail Friday, Friday everybody. everybody. And welcome to our house. And you know who I am. And you know who I am. I'm the penguin. I'm the chef. I'm the frumpy penguin today. Can you tell? That's okay. We don't care. Because we're going to be fixing that here before long. Anyway, we're calling it friend mail because we got some friend mail today. And, you know, we've been asking for pet pictures. So, we have one today. And I'm not going to show the address, but we did get one. This is from, we call her Pippi. Um, her name is Kristen. She's from Peaceful Potato Yoga. If you haven't checked out her channel, please do because she has some awesome yoga sessions. Even ones that me and the chef could do without killing us. Because, I mean, they're pretty simple. She has some, some really just ones that cover everything. Breathing techniques. Um, ones for stress and anxiety. You just have to go check her out. Her voice is so soothing. She has the cutest fur babies. You just need to go over and see Kristen at Peaceful Potato Yoga. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. we love her. And we need more pictures for the contest. Yes, that's, yeah, that's what this is about. We got this contest that ends at midnight on the 26th. Yep. We need pet pictures. You don't have to mail them. You can email us your pet pictures. We'll take them and get them printed out and get them put on our board. Or if you prefer to mail them, that's fine too. You can see our P.O. box. She'll put it in the... Yeah. Our P.O. box is always in the description link, and I'll put it right here on the screen too. Yeah. Our drop-down box, description box. You know, y'all know what I'm yeah. saying. I'm calling it me and my best friend pet contest. So, I'm drinking one of these. I know it's backwards, but it's a squirt zero sugar. These zero sugars, since they changed them from diet to zero sugars, are so much better. They taste a lot better, so I'd recommend it because this one's really good too, guys. They must be using some different kind of sweetener in them or something. Yeah, I didn't even look. I see. I got a zero sugar 7-Up. Yeah. I haven't even looked to see actually what they're using for sweetener, but... It tastes good. My bangs are all hot mess. My hair's hot mess. I just wish Pepsi. I don't care. Just wish Pepsi and Coke, and then we'll come out with that stuff. That's what I want. I think Coke does have a zero sugar. Yeah, Coke does have a zero sugar. Been, evidently, it didn't taste that good. So anyway, I asked Pippi if we could open this um, on camera, and she said yes, because I will never do it without asking. So I'm gonna open it, and hopefully, we got a fur baby picture in here. One that we can add. I think we've got about five entries so far. Yeah. And again, this is for something. You'll win something. You will win something. And your pet will. And your pet will win something. So make sure you get entered. Subscribe to our channel. And get entered in this contest. Yeah. So let's see what's in this here. This is for 650. We've held over, we have over 650 now. I've held it for a little bit. So yeah. when we get to the next milestone, I don't know what you say, 800 subscribers or whatever, that's when we'll yes. do that fun one. I thought. Oh, that's a really pretty picture. That yeah. is beautiful. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. I'll show you guys here in just a second. <laughs> that's cute. Turkey that turkey. is adorable. Oh, my goodness. That is so adorable. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay. This is Pippi's dog, and I'm gonna show you this one first. If you can see this, doesn't matter if it's backwards. This is Bailey. Hold it up just a hair higher. There can you see go. that? Look at the background on that. Mm -hmm. Is she not a beautiful dog? Bailey, so pretty. And this one right here is going to make you laugh. Yeah. You're not going to be able to see it again because it's going to be backwards. But the bandana. It says turkey tester. It says turkey tester. <laughs> yeah, right there. Is that not so cute? And then the smile. She's smiling too. Yeah, she is smiling. She is like legit smiling. 
That is so adorable. Thank you, Pippi. Yes, thanks, Pippi. That actually looks kind of like Hunter. A little bit. Yeah. Kind of looks like Hunter. My brother has a golden retriever, and his name is Hunter. And she looks a lot like that. Absolutely adorable. Thank you, Pippi. So we're hoping that you... Well, you're going to be entered in the contest. We don't know who's going to win. We'll have to see. But um, she just said, hey, Penguin and the Chef, Pippi here. As I promised, I wanted to send you a picture of my girl, Bailey. Love you guys and all of your videos, Pippi. We We nicknamed her Pippi. Because Chef, when Chef would respond to her comments, um, he would always put PPY for Peaceful Potato Yoga. So instead of doing that, I just started calling her Pippi. So that's... That's our nickname for her. We've gave a few people nicknames that have kind of stuck with them. Um, Patty Too Mad. Um, if you've ever watched her channel, she actually changed her channel name to because I always called her Potato yeah, Patty because she's always eating potatoes. So she changed her channel name to Potato Patty Too Mad. So I always laugh, but now I call her Pee Pee because Potato Patty. That's just what, you know, it's just loving little... Fun names, you know, things that you do. But yeah, please get this contest going. Get entered in the contest. Send us your pet pictures. Please. Um, either email or through the mail, which you're running out of time if you're going to do it through the mail because the contest is going to be ending midnight on the 26th and we'll do our drawing on the 27th during a video on the 27th. And um, yeah, anyway... We went to Meyer today. Um, let me include that video. What's that? That, that drive along to Meyer, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna include a little drive along video with this one. Um, I'll probably put it before this because um, me and Chef had to make a run into um, the computer shop, which you'll understand when you watch that part of the video because I explained it all. Anyway, we decided to go to Meyer after that. Well, I needed to get some of these because you guys know how I am about my Noxzema. And I know you probably can't see it, but these are Noxzema pads. They're anti-blemish, ultimate clear. I love these things. They have eucalyptus in them. And this one's sealed up, of course, because I just bought it. I should have brought my other one down here, but I didn't. Anyway, they had these. They had all of their Noxzema products on sale. Buy two, get one free. Each one of these was $4.19, so I ended up getting two of these, and then I got a, de a daily deep pore cleanser, if you can see that. That's so like, basically, this was free. Yeah, it's like 33% off the purchase, so. Yeah, so if you guys have a Meyer near you, and you use anything that has Noxzema in it, I would highly recommend checking to see if they're on sale at your store. These just make your skin feel so good, and... I always use a Noxzema, like the Noxzema cream on my face. And I use, like when I need a quick clean or something like that, take makeup off, then I'll use these. Just like I said, it makes your skin feel really good. So, aren't you going to talk or are you just going to sit there? Well, you're talking. Why do we have to talk over talking? Yeah, again? yeah. I thought you were going to show me this. Oh, okay. He, he's got something he wants to show you, but, ooh, there's a speck on the screen. Okay. It was driving me nuts. It looked like I had a... Black wart on my nose. <laughs> Did you see that? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, I had an appointment a while back to go get my hair done, but um, because of our coat, or you know, that's I ended up having the abscess tooth. Um, chef was dealing with the gout in his toe, so I didn't, end, I didn't end up getting it because we didn't get our COVID vaccines yet and all that stuff. Well, now it's almost next to impossible to get in to get an appointment at the salon. All I was going to do anyway was basically have a bunch of hair cut off, and I was going to get my hair collared. So I decided, why not just do it myself? I was going to get some caramel highlights and have my hair cut. So with Chef's assistance, I'm going to cut my hair, and I'm going to collar it myself. So I was looking through all the collarings at the store, and I found this one. And it has, again, I know it's backwards, but it has the caramel highlights. It has, high, it has highlights and lowlights. So we're going to go with this one. And depending on how gutsy I am, we might do it on camera. So I'm not real worried about it. Um, 
I'm probably going to take, I don't know how much hair I'm going to take off. It's just, it's getting too heavy. It's getting too tangled all the time. I'm constantly wearing it up and I know it's causing it to break. So, um, quite a few inches off, but definitely not short. So anyway, we're going to collar hair. So let me go, let me know what you guys think about this collar. Have you, any of you guys tried this yet? If you have, leave me a comment in the comment section. Okay. So that's all I wanted to say. Take it, chef. I thought you were going to show them that. No, not yet. Uh-uh. Well, you set it on the table, so I thought you were... No, gonna... you set it on the table. It was already here. Oh, okay. It's something for a future video. When we were walking around, she loves anything that's got white cheddar. Yeah, I'm white cheddar free. If, if it has a lot of flavor. We just happened to see this. It's limited time only cheese it loaded popcorn, white cheddar. They had it in regular cheddar and white cheddar. And not real cheap. It was $3.99 for a bag of popcorn. But that being said, ooh, I didn't see that one. There's a loaded popcorn too. They didn't have a bag of that out. A loaded popcorn and cheddar? I um, wonder what that is. Loaded popcorn. They didn't have it, but on the back here, it shows you the little one. It says a loaded one. They didn't have a box of that or a bag of that. Set now. Well, this says loaded popcorn, white cheddar. So maybe it's just the same, but with yellow cheddar instead of white cheddar. Maybe. Maybe, but we're gonna try it and find out if it's any good. How many ounces is it? It's a six ounce bag. Okay. It says. Uh, I told him. I said, "Is that for one bag?" He said it was like four dollars. I'm like, for one bag. There's a lot of things that advertise it smell it. good. White cheddar don't taste that much like white cheddar. You know, I've got to stick my nose in it first. Yeah, it smells good. Hey, it's even bigger pieces. That's like a big old piece of popcorn. Not bad. Can you guys see that? It's a big old piece of popcorn. It's got some white cheddar flavor. Mm. Not, not super strong, but it's got some. I think it does. Mmm. That's good. That's pretty good. I, Again, they're big pieces of popcorn. I like taking and popping regular popcorn and getting cheese whiz and then putting, take the cheese whiz camp a little bit out and stick it to the popcorn and pick it up and eat it. Pick it up and eat it. Pick it up and eat it. <laughs> yes, sir. He does. Yeah, he know. likes to take the squeezy cheese in the can, stick his popcorn to it. Reminds me. I have to tell this story. At a patient, and you probably remember. I can't say names. I can only talk about the situation. This man was in a long-term care facility. Absolutely love him. And he's still alive today. But one of his favorite things in the world was black jelly beans. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Black jelly beans. So one day, I had an, uh, he was on my schedule to go see. I walk in to see him. And he's got his head underneath the covers. Wasn't uncommon for him. It's like a joke. Especially if he knew I was coming. He had he had a little bit of dementia and stuff like that. But So I go and I, I, I shake him. And I tell him I'm there. And I go to wake him up. I say, I'm going to pull the cover off. I go to pull the cover off. He looks at me. He has black jelly beans all over his face. He had taken the jelly beans and licked them. And stuck them to his face. Some of them were still there. Some of them were in the bed. Some of them were on the floor. He had little black spots where he'd had a jelly bean and it had fallen off. I just laughed. It's like some of these things is just so funny. But yeah, little black jelly beans <laughs> all over his face. Looks like a brain that's got a right hemisphere and a left hemisphere. Oh, it does. <laughs> a popcorn brain. And a cerebellum. And you guys, you guys probably can't see yeah. that. Too white. See the dividing line in the middle is like there's a right hemisphere and a left hemisphere to it. Yeah, that's a brain. Like Ooh. A brain. Popcorn brain. This is your brain on popcorn. <sighs> that's some good popcorn. I don't like it because I always get the holes stuck in the back of my tongue and I'm like, <coughs> like that all the time. But I do like it. I like that popcorn stuff. Oh. Can't show you guys what. What he got today, totally going to crack up when you see it, though. Totally going to crack up. That will be in a future video. We have, me and Chef's got a lot of work to do in the next few days because we got some videos we need to get put out, for sure. When we get done doing this video, I got to shave the food. 
Because he is getting uh -huh. hairy again, and it's getting very warm here. Yeah, it's like going to be 88 tomorrow. I got to cut grass tomorrow and work on plants. And some of my some of my little wee ones are starting to get like that tall now and get more leaves on them. So they're about ready to plant in a pot. So One of the things that I'm going to be making is something that's going to be more, more catered towards 4th of July. Yeah. But I think it's something that you guys will really, really like. And then that thing I'm making will be... The Memorial thing the chef's making, I know you guys will really, really like. Memorial Day, 4th of July, yeah. And then we got a couple other things that we got to make, too. Yeah, that, well, the one stuff I got already in the freezer, I got to take out and tell them how you do that. Mm-hmm. So. And then that one dinner thing I'm making and the cake. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of videos coming up, but we got to get made, so. We've got a couple things today we can't show yet. That's either. why I was just telling them. Oh, that's what you meant? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. Well, we could show them the one thing, but I got it put in a bag right now. I'll show you guys in the future. We weren't going to do another haul because we just did one. But we just want to come on here and share. Um, friend mail. Share our friend mail and to ask you guys to please send us in pet pictures. Enter the contest. Um, if you have any friends, send them on over. Subscribe to our channel. Enter the contest. Send us pictures of your pets. Yeah, yeah this is our six. This will be for our six hundred and fifty subscriber. This contest. Yeah, we're and getting, we're getting up there now, close to seven hundred. But when we get to like eight hundred, I got a really good contest worked out in my head. So Chef has great contest for that. But That's, anyway, we're gonna have to make a bigger prize for that one because it, uh -huh. it's, it's not gonna be such an easy contest. It, it requires you guys to do a little bit of thinking and a little bit of work. But it'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be really fun. Kind of like a treasure hunt. Yeah, kind of. Kind of, sorta. But anyway, we got a lot of stuff to do, so we're not going to stay on video. We just want to come on and say, hey, share our friend mail with you guys. Um, talk a little bit about the contest. And, um, yeah, I'll leave the links to um, Bird's Nest um, channel in the description box. A link to Pippi's channel yeah. in the description box. And I'll leave a link to Potato Patty's channel in the description box. Well, you want it so, if you guys have a chance to go over and check them all yeah. out, a bunch of wonderful people they are. So, ooh, a gnat. A gnat. Yeah, that First gnat I've seen. That's what happens when you live out in the country and buy a pond. I know. Mosquitoes used to never bother me, but now it's like they love me for some reason. Uh, yeah, that's like. Here, we, guys, catch. <laughs> we have. Uh, you didn't get the first one. Catch. <laughs> We have out Don't there. waste the popcorn. It was four dollars a bag. On one side of our house, we have a concrete walkway that sits next to the house, just like under the overhang. And then we have a double front porch, an upper and a lower. <laughs> and then we have a deck. So we have chairs everywhere, depending on where we want to sit and if we have company over. Mm -hmm. Well, she had two old wooden chairs that she bought, and they're really good chairs. They're expensive chairs, and I had them I over love on, those chairs. on this side of the house. And I went outside around that area yesterday or day before. Day before. And those great big huge bum carpenter bumblebee things that burrow holes. Piles of sawdust. Attacking my chairs. So I got bug spray and stuff and sprayed and sprayed. Thought I got rid of them. Went back out today and another hole made. No more sawdust. We're talking the holes are as big around in my thumb. Some of them are that deep into the wood. Some of them are all the way through. So I, I have a table that matches the chairs. Them egg suckers is trying to drill holes in my table. So I moved them from one side of the house to the other. I don't I don't know what to do. Like I said, I've sprayed and sprayed before for those suckers out by the garage when they start coming. I don't know how to get rid of them. I ain't killing anything, but they destroy things. So. I guess they're trying to get me to put an umbrella in the center of my table. But yeah. it's not that big of a table. No, it's not. I had to get a mini umbrella. Like, what, a regular umbrella, like. The kind you stand on when it's raining. Stand under when it's raining. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that's about it, guys. Yeah, that's it. I know when we shut the camera off, we're going to be like, oh, man, we forgot to talk about that. But. Going to do the Roseanne thing here shortly. Yeah, Chef said you want next week, right? You want to go one day next week? Try. i got to get the oil changed in the truck. Yeah. One day next week, it's on the radar. Yeah. If everything goes well. Yeah, like I said, we watched, there's one video on there. We Did found, I do that? There's one video on there where someone went there already a few years ago. but We already talked about that. Well, I know we did, but yeah. that guy didn't know poop about poop. So. Uh-uh, no, nothing about it. No. 
This is good, guys. This is addictive popcorn. Yeah, it's good popcorn. Has a lot of flavor. Very much flavor. Anyway. Yeah, guess that's it. Guess that's it, guys. Glad we got to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Yeah, have a good weekend, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with a recipe. Right? Yep. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with the recipe and maybe the day after that with the recipe and maybe the day after that. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Now you're pushing it. Now I'm pushing it. <laughs> every day or every other day. You guys know us. We don't usually ever go past skipping. We may skip one day and that's it. We never ever skip two days, have we? A couple of times, but not very often. Uh, yeah, not very often. No. We're like a bad penny. Like I always say, we're like a bad penny. We keep turning up. Yeah. As long as we're heads up, not tails. That's bad luck. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you guys later. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, -bye. Bye guys. Bye.